be like the game that gets pulled next. We'll have to wait and see. Person I'm gonna guys. duck out and let you two handle this. Good sure. luck. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, absolutely. Versus Cine. Persagax's returning for their second mystery tournament. Has a win rate of 50%, which is pretty okay. And Cine is here for the first time with this cool owl carved on a pumpkin sort of thing. Maybe. We're not sure if it's real. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, that's but the I'm conclusion we came to. Uh, speaking of 50%, Cine is also 50% and Persagax is keeping his 50% because this is a loser's too. One and one. Cine lost to the Mexican runner in Kiri's Garden, which was a puzzle script game. Good one, surprisingly. And then lost a really close match to Polk Kitsune and Blitz. Oh, Blade. yeah. Oh, God. I remember now. <laughs> I was dragon. like, wait, Blitzbreaker? Yeah, or Alligator or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh, God. He, he beat the boss. And then ran out of time. Yep. That was crazy. And then per sec and, X. And there was like more time there to be picked up. Oh I yeah, didn't yeah. Realize that the coins did that. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot that was like oof. oof it it oof. really wasn't obvious because no other boss no. or level really required you to pick up coins to extend your time. Yeah, I I wouldn't have even realized like oh there is a timer so, like honestly like it, it just was not non-factor until suddenly it mattered so much. Yeah, and then Persagax won against Lamarama or Lamaram or in Machado Mountain, which was like a freeware, basically kind of a harmless platformer, right? Like there wasn't yeah. there wasn't anything crazy or bad or weird about it. It, it was it was alright. Pretty good game. Spin at one point was like, uh, when you get here, you gotta go back and left. It's weird, but you gotta just go back and left at this point. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you get the dog, the the kite when or whatever. Ride the wind or something. Yeah. And then lost against this Maurice guy and dangerous guy. What a dangerous Maurice guy. guy. Yeah. That game sucked. I, di I didn't say it back <laughs> then because you want to be positive and stuff, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, I don't feel like being positive. <laughs> After Flag Blue, Project Blue. I mean, it was... I've played worse, but I don't know. It's like this weird, janky Japanese freeware game where the controls are, like, hypersensitive and then... then uh, I don't know. It didn't spark joy. The bosses sure. sucked. Every single boss in that game sucked. They were either really obvious auto-scrollers Actually, that's all they were. They were all really obvious <laughs> auto-scrollers. I think I only... And that was like a second monitor sort of race for me, I think. Wow. Me wow. Yeah. Even though we are... A... We are Avatar buddies. That's right. Look at us <laughs> with our matching color palettes. Yeah. Facing to the right. <laughs> Being action and passive. I think that says more about whoever was commentating your match. More so than... Whoever was racing. Oh. Um, but we're commentating this one. I don't. I don't got a favorite here. I don't know. Yeah, both fifty-fifty. I can't really remember many races that either of these players has played. I mean, I did beat Persagax. Persagax was close. I remember that. It was like a minute. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Not many people are a minute behind you in a race. Let me take another look. Much of the mountain. I think that was a very clear race. Persagax mm -hmm. won that pretty clearly. Uh, Kiri's Garden was like it Close. looked clear. Yeah, it looked like a very one-sided match, but then Mexican runner got stuck on the level that Cine didn't really get stuck on, so it was pretty close. And Blitzbreaker was really close, of course. So I don't know. It seems like all these matches were pretty close. Yeah. Strong, strong opponents, I think. You know, losing to Maurice and the Mexican runner are some of our best. And looked good even when they, well, you know, did did win their matches or whatever. It wasn't, <clears throat> it wasn't like the other opponent was not unable to keep up or whatever, right? Like they, they played better against a strong opponent. Mm. This game 
I did not test that has been selected. It sounds like a puzzle. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Thumbs down. <laughs> what is it? Zero out of ten will not test. <laughs> All right, that's I would, how it goes, I tested right? so many. I tested... Oh, I got the numbers, I guess, I think. I... Isn't that how it goes? You see your game name and then whatever looks fancy. That's what you try? At first, yeah, maybe. But then... But then you do all those. And then at one point I literally just went to the top of the list and was like, what is undecided? I will play that. And went all the way down the list. I skipped over ones that were like, I have keys for this paid game. Use one of these keys. And I felt weird. Like, I don't know if I want to be one of the guys to use one of the keys or whatever. <laughs> right? uh, so I left that one. And I left a couple that were arcade games. Because I, 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 every time I try to use MAME, I'm, it's like it doesn't see any ROMs. And it's not, so I go to the directory and I'm like pointed at a directory and it doesn't see anything. And I'm like, weird. So I have to get someone to help me set up MAME to t test the last few <laughs> arcade <laughs> games. And other than that, I've made it all the way to the bottom of the list. Everything else needs to be, other testers need to look at it. The thing, the thing that gets people about MAME is that you don't extract the ROMs. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You keep like the zip, and you have to keep the name as well. Maybe that was all it was. Huh. So let me see what I can learn about this game. Not one I tested. Tested by Sully. Uh, and then accepted with just this one test, so I think someone knew this from somewhere else. It looks unfamiliar to me, but it also looks like easy enough for us to understand, based on the page. The download link, at least in the test sheet, is the paste bin again, so oh. that's that's not perfect. But it looks like the draw sheet has the correct one, because Withheld was able to find it. This is exactly the sort of puzzle game that we have a lot of in Mystery Tournament. You like grid-based movement. And I, I just... <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. what? Something about, like, when you, you couch it... If things have some kind of meaning... Like, if it's just, like, abstract boxes, abstract lines, circles, right? Just puzzle elements that are disconnected from any sort of meaning. I just don't care all that much. But if it's like food rolling around on a grill or something, for some reason that gets me more invested in what's going on. Oh, the the the, the grilling game with the marshmallows. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, stuff like stuff like that makes a difference for me. Even though I've never eaten marshmallows, <laughs> which apparently was unexpected for Americans. I wouldn't. Have, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have thought it was a not a thing. Oh, Alpha also did this one. Oh, is this why I looked at... It was submitted somewhere else, and I I needed to look at other entries on the sheet to find the other players. This music is cool. And yeah, Fantasy and Sully. 10 Remix. Whoa, this was a long... The, Sully and Alpha are both pretty good, especially at puzzle games. Um... But they took a while, so this could be a long one. How long, how long is it after? Oh, the goal. There's different goals. Which goal do the players have? They're doing 1 to 25. Okay, yeah. Level 35 was the one that took them a long time. Okay. <laughs> the game we're about to see, you start on the level select and you can already see all the level names. What you like make up in your mind what the difference mechanics will be based on the level names? Because I think I would. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, I guess. 
I can't see him yet. I'm not looking. I'm waiting. Oh yeah. I, I guess we can switch. See. So I could I could click around if I really wanted to know, but man. A lot of the racers are ready. This is a, a big race. Chosen Last is in here. Nes Kamikaze is in here. Saiho, Soul Devour, Sephiroth Shadow, as well as our two racers. All right, check it out. It is Gem Settler. Oh, let me that one. Gem <laughs> Gem Setters, I think. Oh, Yo, Gem Setter. Wait, hold on. I I can't imagine that I made that mistake. Yeah, when this game was drawn, it was like, oh, have you played Gem Settler? I see. <laughs> so it's not entirely my fault. It's kind of my fault. It does say it correctly on the pace pin and stuff. Right. Yeah, this was a GFM sub, but also by Shrambles and Rickery. One of them better switch character. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that something we should tell one of the, the one of the racers? Is that important, or is it like I like the pink one? He should play the pink one. Like I don't, <laughs> I can't tell if it's a joke or okay, nah, okay. I get worried, you know, I I don't want people to have weird experiences. Oh, why is it not reloading the image? Hold on. Yeah, some people submitted this with 1 to 25, some people submitted it with 1 to 35. And 35 took our really experienced puzzle players close to an hour, which is really pushing it. So we opted for this one. What screen should we be starting on? Asks Cinny. Clicking play on the first level, so level select. About movement. Yeah, I'll let them know. You're both on the right one. This music reminds me of the Final Fantasy VII like, score screen after a fight. Okay. Um, mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, ever since I started saying that, it's changed, and then it no longer sounds <laughs> like it. It was sounding. Trying like to remember it. how it goes. It's like doodle little doon, doodle little doon. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was kind of like that. Because mm. when you say that, my first thought is, of course, da 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 da. Yeah, no. But then it's like after that. Yeah, that's the fanfare. Alright, here we go. Got some fanfare playing right now. I'm a fan of this music. That's another thing that'll get me a little more interested in your puzzle game. It's uh, it's like ice, ice block stuff. Oh, you gotta get on the, the goal exactly. Ding. Click on neighboring ice blocks to connect them and then disconnect. Can you connect two? I think that's what Persigax did. Then you gotta connect to one and move it. Oh, disconnect it. And then ditch it. Get out of there. Yeah. Switches. Pass over switches to flip them. Don't gotta hold them down. But maybe other ones you will. Build switches will trigger a second time when you move off of it. So you do gotta hold it down. And then that one will stay. Persicax jumps out to a little bit of a lead, but it's not much. Not much at all. One way gates. <laughs> Is this random assortment of arrows? Oh. Oh, just right. What? Yeah. They'll, oh, they, they let you back out. Oh, well, yeah, but not next to the goal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, just pressed right. Just left right? Yeah, Cine sees it. There it is. Yeah, left right in this position. Oh, yes. Nice. 
It's funny because you just came through there, right? You're like, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just there. It's, yeah. I just go across. Ice puzzles are usually you can work backwards, and this one is not right. so easy. Ooh, very quick player from both players. You're first. Which of the three of us won the pace spin well? Well, the person who used Rentry, of course. <laughs> Solves from both players. Fun race. But this is. I like these small levels that just kind of explain, oh. like a mechanic or something. So here, I think Beautiful the clue is that. Small puzzles. Really? Oh, that was They're scary. Good. That was good. The thing you have to notice is that on the right, it's easier to get close to the goal. Oh, Cindy, I think had like a different. Well, it was probably like rotationally symmetric mm. or something. Boy, there's a lot of switches on this level. Yellow is always flipping the one thing. Uh, and you don't have to stay on it. I, I, hate, it I hate when there's like a switch mess. Yeah. So every time you go over both stars, nothing changes. But if you go over one of them, that would change it. Right, where do we place this thing? Oh, yeah, that works. Nice. Two level lead. It's the biggest we've seen so far for Persigax. I like the elevator music. Oh, we, we extinguished the grill. Sydney with the clear, one level back. Both blocks sort of in hand for Persigax. Uh, this works. Them. Let let them go yeah. right and then down, so you're beneath both of them, and then just go up. Nice. Ugh. This level is too big. You you really prefer like bigger levels like this? Maybe this is too big, but the really small ones, they're it, it's they they necessarily are demanding something clever of you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I'm not clever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that. I'm not gonna. I. I'm scared. Oh, this, this level is cool. You I'm have scared. to. You have to get all these ice blocks onto the grills. One down so far. Yeah, do that one first. Wait, was that smart? I oh. can't even think through why one would be any different than the other right now. Yeah, you need to... Wait, no, this doesn't work. No, no, no. Oh, you can't come back, I see. He has to press the right, the red switch. Undo. But oh, this game is helpful. You... Sometimes we have these games where the undo <laughs> is invisible and then we as commentators, we are like, Oh, how did he do that? He's moving backwards, right? <laughs> <laughs> but in this one, it literally just flashes undo, so you can't <laughs> miss it. Hey, that's a clear. That's a clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the timing. Oh boy. And also the tone of your voice, just so unimpressed and impatient. Right. Mm, this is a little tricky. I think just is, is... attach from the left and then pull it to the left so it's like stuck in kind of the middle. Because you can't get out of this otherwise. Or do you have to get out of there I with it? I don't think you can bring the ice... You must have to bring the ice box, but I don't see how it's possible. Wait, no, here, okay, so left, okay, up, sure, whatever, drop it oh. when up. And then it's like in the middle, and then you can come yeah. from the right. Oh, he did it. Yeah, sure. That's way better. <laughs> it was, it was almost the, the same. One or you yeah. would have still been attached from the right. This looks complicated. Sydney's been on this level with these the, the introduction to the ice and the grills for a while now, so Persigax is pulled ahead by like five levels or something. Okay, so you gotta attach to this ice from the right. To leave it on the oh. switch. Cindy's there. Yeah, just up. 
doesn't quite like really understand what's going to happen when they go up there and has thrown it away. Now they understand, I they, think. Oh, there, there's a one-way gate. Why? Reset? They could have undid, but they reset, so now they got to... Do they know there's an undo? Again. I haven't seen them undo. That's true. The placement does say Z is undo. Ah, Z. When, when Z or Z is undo, I hate that. Because my keyboard does not work with that. It doesn't like it even it's in a different place, but like even if you press it over there, it's it in a weird position. I, I played Cave okay. Story once on PC and I oh. shoot or jump on Z. It sucked. I hated that. Every, I hated yeah. it so much. And it was before I was smart enough to like figure out how to rebind it or whatever. Yeah. Well, at least in um, a puzzle game like this or whatever, that you just hit the button occasionally. It's okay if it's weird. Hmm. I mean, I would be using a controller anyway. Mm. I would map fast or arrow keys to the D-pad and then usually triangle is reset and then square is undo. The music's getting weird. Yeah, it's been this elevator music now. It's this weird someone is pressing random buttons on a synthesizer. This block has got to be used to turn off one of these grates. Probably the one on top, right? Yeah. Oh, like it's that. free. Okay. <laughs> oh, what Nine the? slice. What is this? What level are we on? This has got to be like level 15 out of 25 or something. Sounds about right. Cine is going for the correct one. Yes. Needs to re-flick the oh, red switch. Down left up. Okay, Cine, yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, he needs to get the ice off the yellow. Yeah, but I th can you do that without also putting it on the... Oh, yeah, like that. Uh, but now the ice is... Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can go through the one, one way. Person X doing some things that look good. Sure. I can't see far enough ahead to tell, but oh, you this can, stuff looks really good. You can pull the ice through the arrow. Yeah. That's interesting. It's only you. That was, uh, that seemed pretty tricky. Oh, Senior almost but, had it. Like, just had to grab this. Oh. No, don't go left. No, don't reset. Oh. You need to be on the right of the yeah. ice. The crease says when the color changes, there is 10 levels left. Maybe this yeah. is close to 15. <laughs> dead. It just says dead. <laughs> Player dead. Player dead. I still have to grab that from the <laughs> from the game and then add it as a popover. When when a game has like different switches, ty switch types, colors, and whatever, I, I get tired so fast. I don't know. I yeah. can't keep track of all these stupid switches. Both switches triggered. Oh, there's another block. What's that block doing in there? Get out of there. <laughs> what are you going to do about that block? Uh, oh, you, you remove yellow, put the block on yellow, and then re destroy the block with yellow, probably. Oh, like smash it? I'm, okay. I'm just going to assume that's how it works, because otherwise you, this you wouldn't make something. sense. Oh, you can, you can just drag the, the, the ice, the, the other ice, one down. That way yellow will st stay down. Red will be up, and then he can do that thing. Yeah, like this. Except now he put the ice behind it. Sinny's on a level that I think Persigax solved so quickly I never even saw. So I guess you just you got to use the ice block to hit the switch without losing it Here we in go. the fire grate until you need it. Uh, 
Oh no, he's like with me, uh, off sync. Oh, never there mind. We go. Yeah. Still the same color. Oh, these are like no made by different people? Huh. Okay. It's gonna go to. Oh, I hate this level. You're gonna have to start reconfiguring the ones yeah, that are already there. Yeah, this there. will not work. You can't even really get out of this now. Huh? Actually? Uh, some stuff's happening. Three on the right. It's pretty good. What do you do now? Uh, oh. No? You can you can connect them in like pretty crazy ways. Oh. You, you can connect... You don't have you to actually have touch shape. them. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to touch them. Wow, that, that, that's gonna make this game way too way too dang. <laughs> it's it's the type of thing yeah. where the game introduces something and you already know. Yeah, you're like, uh oh, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> He's just kind of doing random things, but I can like I agree with doing random things here. Yeah, I don't I don't see any big idea, you know. Okay. Oh. Got like an X? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but it's probably great. <laughs> oh boy. Meanwhile yeah. Cine has been stuck on this one for a little bit. Uh, hit the switch. Oh, you need to hold it down. Wow, okay. Yeah, you need to be on the left of the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. What what he just did, but from the off. left. Yeah. Or f from the right of the eyes, that's what I meant. Okay, Persegas so... has one thing left. <laughs> that one thing is going to be so much harder than all the other five, I think. Yeah, how do you... you need like two space down there. So I think you I'm need something to... at the bottom. Like he needs to fill the two spaces in the bottom left somehow. I can't even visualize what the final move looks like to put everything into place, you know? I think the bottom three need to be filled. And then either side, and then you can pull the last one down. But I have no idea how to get the bottom three filled. That's a good idea to shoot for. Like this, maybe? That looks pretty good. What if you move that over to the right? That doesn't do anything. The ice uh, is above you. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get so much stuff right now. I would try to f fill the bottom first. I think once you have the bottom, it's free. I feel like Sydney's close. This music, man. I feel like the music <laughs> would be genuinely distracting while I was trying to solve the puzzle. <laughs> it's I like would probably mute the game. It's the craziest like royalty-free music I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> Went into like the search bar on audio stock or whatever and was like <laughs> Tons of notes. <laughs> I mean, Fast. when you when you listen to like, uh, I'm a, like, like Wolfgang Mozart or whatever, they always do have a lot of notes. Yeah. So whoever made this music was like, I'm gonna put so many notes in this song. <laughs> well, there's something interesting going on for Percy. Oh, Gass. yeah. Now he can fill the bottom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, that's good. Yeah, so the music is genuinely interesting and compelling, just to be clear. But when I'm trying to focus on solving puzzles and freaking Mozart is <laughs> going nuts in my left ear or whatever. <laughs> oh, there's so many gates and switches in this. I hate it so much. Oh, this is man. this is hell for me. I cannot keep track of all of this. My hell is Cine right now. Um, oh, like, because it's like a simple thing. It's just the, it being on the same level 
for this long mm -hmm. when you know like the level is so straightforward right like it you know there's no big crazy secret you're missing or whatever it's my worst nightmare mm. it's like it's maybe reason number one why i would never join mystery tournament is getting a puzzle game like this and being in this situation i just don't want to be here <laughs> Man, if you look at Prosthetics, like where the finish is, there's like two switches above it, there's a there's a gate below it, and you can't even get in there and oh my god. I hate it. Yeah, I can't I can't visualize what even like a sub goal to aim for is, right? Get into the top the, the left area, I guess. Yeah, you probably need to press that red red switch, because why would it be there otherwise? Yeah. So how's how do you trigger the yellow switch once? Mm, kinda did, but then was unable to do anything. So yeah, I guess I like get the top right ice block, use that to get the left ice block onto the red switch. Or something. Maybe you need both ice blocks. I mean it seems and like so so that's also like a thing. It's it seems hard to get to the left. So oh, getting oh, to the Cindy, left. Oh. Cine has it, right? You go up, you grab the block, you go left up, right? No, it's on the wrong side of you then. Is it? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, I got excited. Yeah, he needs to switch switch needs, these needs around switch somehow. Sides. Okay. Oh, but he could have uh, done then... that easily. He could have oh. pulled it down once. And then left it Internet's there. Dirigible wants you to turn the game music up. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Well on stream. We're talking about it so much. Ooh, his Persic Axe is on the left, has got this block and is hitting the switch and is in the exit. Maybe it's close. He probably Just, needs ice. Please. Please. He probably needs ice. Let me in. <laughs> oh, he's angry. Uh, uh, I can't, can't make it. Get out of here, actually. It's over. Got to undo. I can't make. Oh, no, he, <laughs> he needs to undo his angry shaking. Uh, I can't make it louder. Let me try the other stream. Okay. Alright, he, he has crazy music. Oh, I gotta turn it down on my end even, because I was turning it up. Scary Mozart. <laughs> First of Gax is trying to think it through. To get across, you need yellow down. And then you need yellow... You need to bring an ice block, I think, with you, in front of you, on the right side of you. So that when you go across, you just go up. That doesn't work. I know how to solve Cine's level. So, yeah, at, see it. at the start, the block is like top right, right? Like next to the switch. So you grab it from the bottom, you go left down. The block is now where Cine was before he undid or reset, whatever. Like in the middle. It's down one from where it, it's gone. Down one from that square? Here. You're right here, and the block is one above you. Uh, he's, oh. he's going so fast! Okay, here, here, here. One above you. And then okay. you grab it from the left, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. And then in order to get it to the other side of you, you put it one down, release, Go all the way around and grab it from the right. Okay. Yep. So he can get it right now if he went like it's down, right, down. Then it would be in the position where you grab it from the right instead, and then you go like up, left, up, right. Yep. Onto oh, the switch. Good. Or oh. that. Oh, well, okay. That also works. <laughs> I have no idea what he did because it wasn't what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was a variation. There, it was. That's cool. All right. Persigax has got the change of colors, so five levels left for Persigax. It is a massive lead. We've seen puzzle games wall players before, so don't count Cine out. But if I were a betting man, surely I would put money on Persigax at this point. Yeah. Level 21 this must be then. If the color changes five levels before the last. Mm-hmm. We got a switch, we got 
Oh, there's a blue switch. It's a little hard to tell because the ice is also blue. You could have used any other color, but you used ice blue. <laughs> Pressing X is just staring at it. I mean, that can be useful. Yeah. Sometimes if you move around and stuff, it's hard to, like, get a clear picture of the puzzle. So that seems like a pretty clear starting series of moves. And then you can get the ice block. Yeah, from the, the bottom. Right up. Yeah. But then what do you then do? You move it up onto the the corner, and then you come in from the other side, maybe? I mean... Can't you just get it out by going... Oh yeah, I guess you... Huh. You, you can deactivate the pink, and then just go through the one-way arrows, can't you? If you can deactivate the pink, which I... Th yeah, I guess you can. So here, grab it. Now you can deactivate it. But I mean, then down right up. Yeah, but then or down left up rather. Yeah, you can do this. But then, why is the thing in the top left there? You know, is yeah, it really it's just like a sub puzzle? The first part of the puzzle. Yeah. I don't know. Oh wait, this is just soft. Down, uh, down, grab the other one, and then go like in a circle. No, yeah, you... I see it. Yeah. It's been a while since Persigax has had to grab two ice blocks at once. I wonder if maybe their brain is not thinking about it. Okay, there it is. Well, that was easy. Points yeah, up. Yeah, I'm not even... Oh, it's like a little man. No, it's, uh, it's an arrow. Know. It points up. That was okay. the name of the level. But it looked like, he, like a little guy with a little head, and he's got little boots and gloves. <laughs> and a very and small kicking, head. He's kicking a... Kicking a soccer ball around. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, yeah. So once you're in this uh, little loop here, you can't get out. Yeah. So you need the ice block to break you out of the cycle. Okay, right. from the uh, side. I don't. I don't know what this gets you, but the fact that you can do this seems like <laughs> yeah. it's a good thing to do. You know. Oh, you can get it from the top. Maybe that's something too. If you do it from the side, leave it at the bottom and go around. You can grab it from the top. Puzzle script man, the serious Sam bomb hands man, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> I've never oh, played serious Sam. He's like finagling this this block down. Oh, does this help? Is this good? Oh yeah, this helps. Does it? Can trigger one of those switches. Oh, he can go left, release, and then go all the way around again. It's like that one level. Oh. Okay. One of the early, one of the early levels. Oh, where you needed to bring the block from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Like leaving it in a in a, it's kind of like leapfrogging, but only once. Yeah. Oh, had had oh. a similar idea there. I think he could have saved that. Oh, are we gonna get a different song? Oh, Cine is close can slam one of these blocks down onto the ice grid but i guess you need both at the same time huh? oh it's oh, yeah, gonna no. line them both up oh but if he grabs them oh oh from the side does it work is there a way to make this work undo 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 wait yeah just release go Ugh. left down right up Mm. Like you need to end up on this row again. Um, oh yeah, there is a way using the yellow. There so now is. just grab to the top. Wait, no, not to the top. To left and then the top. Oh, yeah. But that you have to disable the yellow. Like the, oh, the yellow switch. Yeah, you have to. Oh, you're okay it. though. The blocks will stop you from going into the. Oh yeah, just right. right left. Left down. Nice, beautiful. My Prosagex does have like. Oh, he just has it. He's not. <laughs> sure. That's exactly what I had in mind. Twenty-two sliver. This 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 music. <laughs> this ain't no Mozart. I'll tell you that. It's it's scary Mozart. <laughs> this is like the this music is... that plays in the secret lab in Undertale. Yes. 
I was going for exactly like the weird part of Undertale. <laughs> oh, this is just free. He has to leave the block down there so he can grab, grab it from the top. I'm into the music, just to be clear. It's funky. Ah, he keeps grabbing this block from the left. This puzzle is simpler than he thinks, I think. Because all you have to do is grab this block from the top. Well, there was like some chopping in that song. Which apparently is a thing people do. There's this person whose music I use in some of my games, and he loves chopping. Where they just take like a song and like take out a part or put like a part from somewhere else, like not on the beat. It's just kind of random. And he loves to do it. And I hate it. I had to ask him to remove that part from one of his songs. Right, so I up. like your music, but please stop ruining it. <laughs> I don't know. He's not allowed to move the ice block, I think. As soon as he moves it, like from the side, he's dead. Song. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. This is the puzzle that drove me nuts, says Shrambles. The one at Poseidon? Alright. I think so. Uh, I don't even know. But the problem with this puzzle that I have. Okay, never mind. So the top is pretty obvious. There's, there's all these arrows everywhere. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> now the problem I have is sometimes in puzzle games uh, you, you do like a, a part of the puzzle, like a sub puzzle, right? Like these rooms here. And then maybe you used a resource that you're not sure you had to use. So in this case maybe there's a clever way to get out of that room with the box. Yeah, and so and you've been trying to solve it without it stupidly this whole time. Yeah, exactly, something like that. So in, in this case, it's not really true because you definitely need one this ice to break one of those in the middle. Yeah, I agree. So it's not that terrible. Amalgam is attacking. That uh, Mother it's 3. One of the monsters in, in the lab. Oh, I th yeah, okay, but it's almost Mother 3. It's a bunch of dogs or something. Okay, he's down here. He's got this ice. I mean, he, he destroyed the right fire because the right one doesn't work. So he can be sure that he's in a solvable state right now. Which is always yeah. good. Hmm, so. Which of these seems like the most likely... Or maybe you don't want to break any of the... Yeah. You don't want to cool any of the grills at all, and you just want the block. Maybe you, know? you can, like, leapfrog on the right. Like, have the ice uh, to the top left of the arrow. Okay, so you have it to the left of you, and you, you scooch to the right. Well, you... Yeah, but I mean, you can't get to the other side then. And then you can't do anything after that. Hmm. Okay. That looked like a good, useful move. I don't know where we're going with it yet, but... We're kind of stuck in this. There's not a lot of moves we can do. Complete for Cine. Oh, nice. Onto this, so Persigax solved this level remarkably quick for how difficult and tricky it was. That last move, pulling the block across the arrow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here, right, right where Cine is right now. Yeah. So th this could be a thing. I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I feel like Persigax. What, what is the goal? Yeah, I feel. <laughs> He hasn't really achieved anything. He's just going in circles. Yeah, like, there's a couple moves that just kind of like feel good, you know, like they're, they're possible and they put you in a new place. Yeah. So it feels like this must be part of some kind of solution. And you hope that seeing where you were and where you are now after having done it, 
you can extrapolate where you're supposed to go next, but I don't see it at all. I, I But I think Persegex can be sure that this is a solvable state, because there's no way... There's no other way to get down here in the first place. Yeah, I agree. Oh, complete! Well, oh, wow. Even faster, maybe, than Persegax. I'm not sure. I've learned recently I'm not very good at keeping track of <laughs> of how fast someone was. We, me and the Internet Dirigible were talking about how long someone took for a boss fight. Yeah, but... I, I was weirdly <laughs> accurate and then way off on another. What? I don't think destroying it. any of these grills does it's you helpful. any good. Yeah, because you can't get to the finish. Yeah. Yeah. But then That's I don't thought. see how... How do you leave... Wait, I got it. You need the ice to the left of you. There it is. <laughs> Persigax also got it. TPC also sees it. Everyone saw it at the same time. It's one of those moments. The morphogenetic field, everyone's thoughts and feelings all connected. Is that a thing from 999? Shh. Shh. <laughs> Persigax on level 23. Oh, this is the last puzzle. Oh, I'm super wrong. This is 25. Okay. What did, did you think the moves were the puzzle? No, I just miscounted. Oh, you were counting, okay. See, you're, you're already ahead of me. I wasn't even counting. <laughs> I was off by two, though, so I'm, like, what was the point? I'm just believing shrambles. I'm, I, I was only needed to count to five, <laughs> and I was two <laughs> off by the time we got to five. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Maybe trusting shrambles is also a mistake. Okay, he needs to activate blue. Oh, you can just do the same thing again. Grab this from the right. Oh, never mind. You accidentally activate green that way. I did this so often. Sometimes I, when I was... There were games where I wanted to see if they were good for top 8 or whatever. Um, so me and Jorf would get together and I would do one and he would do one. And so sometimes he would play a game and I would just watch. So he was playing like a platformer. He was, he was playing chess former. And... He was like, I don't know how to do this. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. You want to do bishop here, knight here, king here, and then bishop here. And then you're stuck, you idiot. That was a dumb move. Why did you do that? That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, this is tricky. What are we even trying to do here? I'm... So this, this green... We're trying to grab this block from the right or the left. But with the green wall active. So like this, okay. this will work. Now go to the left, leave the block, go like around. This is just to get the other, the second block. Yeah, but I mean, this is obviously something you have to do. Yeah. So it's like a good start. You're right, I was not thinking about this. I was, I was thinking about like, how do you ever get through both green walls? Okay. Something, something tricky. Like, oh, what happens yeah. if you have an ice block like th on top of a green, and then you hit the switch, sort of thing? Yeah, I think that's that's gotta be it, right? Something about dragging the block with you, and you're longer, so you can survive it or something. Oh, if you had like a trail behind you, it would stay down. Yeah. <laughs> Is that helpful? It sounds good. I agree. Like it's something like that. But I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's helpful. <laughs> I think it's helpful. It's a good idea. Oh look, he's got like protection now. <laughs> oh, if he goes down, he dies. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, but this is good. If if they were both on his left, this would work. Exactly. Yeah. I just have to ditch. No, this would just work. He has it solved. Yeah. Let's go down. Is he gonna keep going? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Thirty-six oh four. Is the time from Persigax. That was good. That looked really good. Yeah. Uh, I think our, our, our strong puzzle testers, I, I think I saw one of them with a 40-something, so... Let me, try, let me try to find... I think this was actually, like, a remarkable performance, even. Remarkable? Yeah. Wow. 
around 38 minutes. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe these are... I'll, I'll put up this... 30. I will tune up this crazy music. Okay, I got ahead of myself. This is a little bit behind our amazing testers, but is uh, ahead of at least one of the submitters and is still like in the same ballpark as some of the people I would expect to be putting up the best times in a game like this. So I still think it's very good. Sunny so has all this ice down here, which I think is a bad idea. Down here as in like leave some up there. And focus on getting the ice along that bottom row. That was the thing that you kind of zeroed in and is a good idea. Just grab all five. Yeah, that can't be. That can't go wrong. Delete. You can delete the level from your game. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Don't want to do that one. Get out of here. I mean, it's it's how you like you delete these levels, puzzles one through twenty five, and just replace them with way easier ones. Yeah, I win. Wait, how does this work? Or you just, you just leave the block? Like you put it to your right and then you, when you're in the bottom left you leave it. I know that won't work. Ah. Double kill. Oh, here's the, here's the Final Fantasy music. Okay. It's, it's got like the vibe, I think. And then it starts going crazy. <laughs> of course it does. It it's, just gets a melody going all of a it's sudden. It's scary Mozart. <laughs> the level Cine is on is one that I could see myself being there for forever. Prostagic served it like efficiently where he put the blocks at the bottom right when he needed to. I wonder if you can do it earlier. Oh, mm -hmm. we got a happy Kirby on. Have we reached the end of our big Showed it? No, there's more. There's another match. And maybe another interview, we'll see. That's he has this crazy... Oh. There's no longer another match. Wait, what? Ah, uh, yeah, they're rescheduling, I see now. What? So this is our last match for the night. What a scam. <laughs> but we will get one last interview, because we're joined now by Persigax. Hello. Hello. Am I saying that right, first of all? Uh, Persigax, Persigax, it's, it's a fake Latin word, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it was like Persaga X or something, I didn't know. Yeah, any any permutation of it usually we'll we'll all respond to. <laughs> well, here you are responding. Um, good job. You you were doing really well. There was a lot of stuff for Maurice where and I were like trying to think our way through the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we came up with like we would have like, some idea, and then you would do like five moves and and win the level. And it was like, oh yeah, okay, that works too. <laughs> yeah, and that's I I mean I said it in the uh, in the. Um... IRC. I definitely like walked backwards into a few uh, puzzle exits there. Um, there was some that I just like, oh, I win, I guess. I, I hit the goal without even realizing. But um, like this one here, this one here that Sinai's on, um, this one had me for a while, and yeah. I didn't have a plan on this one. I was just trying a different configuration every time until I got something that worked. Ah, see, I, I was going to ask you about that, actually, because uh, Maurice, the idea he hit on was to fill the bottom row with ice blocks, and that being sort of an advantage. 
and which you, you kind of ended up doing, but it seems like you weren't doing that as your objective. You were just trying to do something new. Yeah, it's when if you if you just start off by filling the bottom row, you run into the problem of not being able to go back up top uh, because you have nothing to like center yourself on. Yeah. Um, so I, th I think what I ended up doing is doing the the left side first, and then the bottom, and then getting out of there because you like the the ice sliding block puzzles. You just end up always going too far one way or the other, and this. I'm not the greatest at these. This one kind of clicked pretty well with my head. There's a few in the last few levels where I just, like, if I just stopped moving and looked at, like, the required moves, what moves, and, like, there's a couple in there where you can only do a few moves to start, and so I would just start by doing those, and then I'd have to stop moving to make sure that I understood what was happening. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm, I'm wondering, actually... If Cine realizes that you can like individually click to get certain blocks instead of just choosing one or all that are connected, and that's I I figured that out mostly in this level. Oh, so he could pull. I was gonna say he could he could pull those down, but hmm, yeah, th this one is really tough. There was a I, I, like on. once you guys hit like level ten or something, I I stopped being able to meaningfully see moves before that you guys were. So I was just like watching for the most part and being like, wow, they're good. Um, then I think this game gets pretty tough pretty quick. Yeah, I tried that next level for a few seconds and then realized that I don't have to play this game anymore, so I stopped. Sydney has it. Sydney, so if he moves the middle block back up, right? Mm -hmm. And then he moves the one, the two that are above him to the right, and then goes like in an L to the top left of his little box, and moves okay. them down. Then like the five in the bottom right would be filled. He can go above the one in the middle, grab it and put it in the bottom left, and then he's got the two on the left free to remove the last block. I kind of yeah. like what they're doing it's... with this big square. I, I was banking on this game being a somewhat well designed game because uh, it's why it's why you saw me just reset so often because I know that they always have especially in earlier levels like intended solutions under a certain number of moves and once I was getting up into the fifties I was like I probably just have royally screwed something up I'm just gonna start it fresh. So I'm seeing Cine in. The, our, the commentary booth, but I have not seen a forfeit yet, so. I'm Maybe. probably going to be forfeiting soon. <laughs> Hello. Hello to me. I don't get it. Um. So there is a mechanic. You can click on, I guess, what are you clicking on the ice blocks individually? Is that how it works? Yeah, I can do that or get like the whole group of them yeah well you can like click and get like more than one but not all of them yeah you can do individual configurations like where you are now you can grab like the the two in the top row individually yeah it's not it's not all or nothing um which maybe will help you it, it might be necessary i'm not sure Really? Because it seems like it's all or nothing when it's in a group like this. Is it a is it a mouse input? Like I can only grab one or all of the group. If you, like I mean, you should be able to like click each block individually that you want to add on, as long as you're starting from yourself, like starting from the one adjacent to you. Wait, what? Like if you click the block, it really it it click the block underneath it. There, there it is. I think this was the first level where where Persigax did that because it was like you needed to do something. If it makes you feel better, I don't think you need it for this level. I still don't get how to do this though. Um, Can you get back to the state where there's three eyes just on the right? 
Me and Marie saw, saw a whole thing. Oh wait, no, oh wait, hold on, this yeah, was that great. that was also good, when yeah. you grabbed that one. But wait, was it? Like, because there's, there's two at the top. I'm yeah. still not sure if that actually yeah, helps. No, get to the state where there's three on the right. Or three on the left, whatever. Well, yeah. getting back to the middle, though. Yeah, I think you pulled down too many. Yeah. If you if you take those two on the that are on, like on the inside, um, take those two in the middle bottom, and you can push them up, and then push the top one right, push the middle one down, like that. Um, you can you should be able to pull that one down all the way to the right. Okay, side, yeah, this is great. To the bottom right corner. Okay, now grab uh. One. I'm, I'm don't don't grab all of them. I'm gonna have problems with that last one though. With this solution. Uh, let me think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put the three back up. Then grab two. Pull them down. Oh, this works. Around. This works. No, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Stream delay. Okay, take two. Pull them down, uh, release them so they're in the middle, then go around and put them all the way down. Yeah, the stream Wait, delay is killing us. Release them, go around, grab them, and pull them down again. And now go above the one in the middle, put it in the bottom left. Only grab the one. Okay, this works too, whatever. Like, no, no, oh no, you, you undo, undo, you lost it. Oh no, go back. You want I a big L shape, <laughs> is what you want. You want to fill the bottom row and one of the sides with a big L shape of. Undo, undo, like three oh, more nice. times. I'm back to here. Hold on, I can reload the stream just. Maybe get more current. Okay, yeah, this is this is awesome. Left, grab the one below you. Only one. Down, uh, right down. And then release it, and then get the one from the top and put it to the side. Oh, okay. There it is. Easy when you know how, and impossible uh, when you don't. Yeah, <laughs> with directions, yeah, this, that was pretty hard. <laughs> this was also the level that walled me absolutely the hardest, and I, I, I kind of walked into that one, too. I was just trying to different configurations, different amounts of, of, of blocks at a time. Yeah, I was, on like some levels, I was just trying random stuff and seeing what worked. I think there was one that walled me for like 10 minutes or something like that. Besides that one I was just on. Yeah, there was one where there was just like a purple switch on the ground and one block and a couple of grills. Yeah, that one. I couldn't yeah. figure out how to get the ice block on the switch. Well, a, a little bit of a, a frustrating puzzle game perhaps has ended your run here in Mystery Turn, but how was it overall? Yeah. Sorry, what was that? How was Mystery Tournament 16 overall for you? This was a, this was pretty fun to enter. We got a big time matchup with the Maxi Rudder with my as my first opponent. <laughs> Going up against a huge name like that, that was pretty fun to do. Yeah, I think we I think we both got seated unfortunately <laughs> against uh, very good players. Yeah. Oh, really? That Which one? Yeah, match. I say that. Uh, I, Sorry, I, uh, that. Some, I don't know, some guy named Maurice. I haven't actually heard of him. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty yeah. well. Yeah, feel free to praise me more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I started using the comments in the flavor text because I know that makes you happy. I can at least do that because you beat me. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that Blitzbreakers match also was... That was a fantastic watch. Yeah. That one was a really close one. Only one because of the coin mechanic. I want to... I want to... I need to go back and play that game. That game looked really awesome. Yeah, yeah that is a really good game. It was a top eight game that I saw. Like a, the people who were commentating it were like, "This game's like a dollar. Go buy it." And I was like, "Okay." And I went and bought it and <laughs> played through it. I never. When someone says like, when someone recommends a game or whatever, I just kind of go like, "Yeah, okay, whatever," and I don't. But for some reason, that one grabbed me and I played it and liked it. Um. Persigax, you survived to fight another day. The winner of Furt Turret versus Desdar. I think that match is in limbo. I, maybe it's going to be decided soon, if not already. Um, and if you win that, you go on to face GFM. I think uh, I think this puts me at two wins now, which I think is the. The, what I had in my first mystery tournament, so at least I'm not getting worse. Yeah, uh, honestly, two wins is uh, is kind of a lot in a lot of ways. Uh, <laughs> so, well done, I, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure the first MT I got one of those wins because of the forfeit. So, like, just mm. they couldn't they couldn't actually uh, make the schedule date. So I think I just got pushed up in the bracket. <laughs> and this time you came by him uh, a little more honestly with some hard-fought matches. Well done. Uh, well done to both of you. Toughen out a puzzle game. Uh, when it, when the, when a puzzle game gets hard, I don't know, you need a, you need a special sort of something to dig in and, and keep going that I don't have. So I respect everyone who, who uh, is able to do it in Mystery Tournament. So I, um, I have tried running some of the puzzle games that have been in matches alongside them because they can sometimes be my weak point, and I am usually... Uh, you know, about 10 minutes in, I'm usually about five levels behind both runners, so this one felt okay that I did okay. Yeah, you did really point. good. I'm usually better at puzzle games than this, but that was a really bad performance by me. That's, this was a weird one.